Hey, this is King David for David Glide Music Beat Class dot com. Um, what I want to do is quickly introduce you to using automation. Now, automation is a way of automatically controlling uh, the parameters of volume, uh, effects, panning. Um, it's a very important part of p music production because what it does is add uh, true color to your music and actually gives dynamic to your music. Now. Let's see, uh, or let's look into one area of using an envelope, okay? Automation envelope. Now, let's do this. Uh, in this particular track here, I have just two tracks. I have music and vocals, okay? Now, on the vocals, I have some effects that are running on those vocals, all right? Let me just play a piece of it, okay? Here we go. Listen. Giving my all to you and nothing else will do no no. Alright, so you can hear that the vocals have a reverb effect, right? Now, if you know anything about music production using FL Studio or if you're brand new to it, uh the way to put effects on your music is through the mixer. Right now, you could either do it through the inserts or through the sends. It's completely up to you. All right, we use the inserts. So I put a reverb and a multiband compressor. These are all effects that you would have in your, even in your demo model. Okay. So what we want to do is now create an automation envelope for this fruity reverb. So we're going to right-click on that green dot, and it's actually called an automation clip. I call it an automation envelope or a clip it's completely up to you right all right so after clicking that uh, and go to your playlist and you'll see that there's actually a green automation um, envelope that will represent what you're going to do to this particular effect now we're gonna bring the effect up and down in certain points of the song why because there's dynamics in the singing and you can see by the wave that it goes up and down at certain points so if it gets up, it's going to make the effect react um, with more effect. So what we want to do is probably reduce that effect during the louder moments, right? So let's give it a shot and see what happens. All right, so what I'm going to do first is use my zoom time tool and stretch it out a little bit further so I can see it a little bit more clearly on the screen. And we're going to just go line by line, all right? Now, the way to do this is you grab a point with your mouse and left click on that point okay all right a right click on that point excuse me all right so let's right click on the point three points here right around the part that we want to bring down and let's just bring it down all right so now at that particular point where it gets loud we're gonna have less of the reverb make sense okay cool so let's do that again at different points so right click and let's do it again. Now you have to create an in and an out point and a, and a center point. And there's a reason for that. It's because uh, if you just put one, it will bring the whole line down. And if you put three, it will just bring down the area that you want to bring down. Make sense? Okay, good. All right, so again, three points. Beginning, middle, and an end, right? Bam, let's bring that down. And now we can adjust it and vary it to the way that we want to. We might know exactly what um, note we're hitting or what high point you're hitting. And you might want to lower that point right there. So this way you have less effect during that louder point. Okay. I'm just going to randomly uh, create my points. Bring it down. Let's do it again over here. You might want to even use more than three points if you want to. I'm going to use five here. All right. Bring it down there. Cool. You have to excuse my breathing. I have a slight cold today. And here we go. Alright, so now we're creating a dynamic not only in the music itself, but in the effects that are affected by the music. And what does that mean? It means for much more professional playback, much more professional recording this is what the pros do all right you might think well I don't need to do that cuz I, I do rap music everything's supposed to be loud 
and that's not true. Some of the best engineers engineer rap music and they use the same techniques that I'm showing you right now. Okay? Alright, so I'm creating these points again. And where it gets loud, I'm bringing it down. You see how that jumps out? Right now, we'll have less effect on that particular area. Okay? Alright, I'm going to go through the whole selection. Then I'm going to play it back for you and see if you can hear some of the ins and the outs and see how it gets low. And you can do this with also the volume, the panning. Uh, look at that. that. That point right there is jumping out. Let's go ahead and fix that. Okay. Now we can, if we, if we run out of space, we can always stretch this further out and continue our work. Okay. Here we go. A little bit down there. And finally there. Alright, good. So we've got the whole song uh, mapped out with our envelope for the effects. So now we know that our reverb is going to go up and down. Now what this is doing is just saying that we want less reverb at certain points in the song. Okay? We could have did it backwards and put less on the lower portions and more on the on the louder portions is completely up to us all right and that is how you put an envelope effect uh, for your effects on a vocal track all right now let's play back and enjoy the music listen Giving my own to you and nothing else will do, no, no. Giving my own to you today, I want to know if you love me that way. To you, baby, nothing else will do. Oh, no, no, giving my all to you today. I want to know if you love me that way. Every second, every minute, I give up my love to you. Oh, yeah. All right, and that is how you add auto automation clips for your effects to a vocal track on FL Studio. King David, David Goliath Music, Bclass. dot com. One love, helping the world learn music production.